are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, what has it been, guys? It's been a couple of weeks now since Tyreek Hill was actually detained by the police when he was actually speeding, going to the Miami Dolphins um, football game. Now, he was actually going, I believe, a 60 and a 40, and he wasn't wearing the seatbelt. The police stopped him, and what did Tyreek Hill do? He acted like a fool. Now, Tyreek Hill has been in constant trouble with the police going back to his college days. Even in the NFL, he's actually um, been accused of domestic violence and other stuff. He's a grown man living a dream and he's not taking any responsibility whatsoever for his actions. Now, forget what he said when he said, oh, I could have handled it better. No, this guy is actively trying to get a cop fired for doing his job. Even though Tyreek Hill, he was actually given what second and third chances in the uh, NFL, he's actually allowed to continue his football career. But when it comes to this cop, Tyreek Hill wants him gone. Tyreek Hill tried to play the race card. Um, if you guys actually watch on one of the videos out there, Tyreek Hill just said, uh, he's saying, oh, I'm just trying to be a black man in America. But you weren't complying with the police. And all these cops, man, were actually Hispanic. They, they said, hey, we're people of color, too. I found that to be kind of funny that Tyreek Hill was trying to use the race card to get out of trouble that he caused. He refused to comply. And this man is not learning his lesson. He's pretty much guys trying to paint himself as some type of a victim of police brutality. I'm not going to let that slide, folks. I'm not going to let that slide whatsoever because guys now. Tyreek Hill, he has now hired the ultimate race hustler. I'm talking about one Ben Crump. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals. Both for just five dollars per month. Check the links in the description. So here we go. Right here, guys. Daily Mail. Tyreek Hill hires George Floyd lawyer to help get Miami cop fired. As Dolphin Star demands police reform in wake of shocking traffic stop. Now, guys. Tyreek Hill wants Congress to pass the uh, George Floyd Policing Act. Yeah, George Floyd a man that really died at his own hands. Tyreek Hill, another criminal, is trying to act like he's some type of a uh, social justice warrior. Like he didn't do anything wrong. Anyway, it says here, Tyreek Hill has hired a new A-list cast of lawyers as he continues to fight Miami police in the wake of his shocking uh, traffic stop earlier this month. The Miami Dolphins wide receiver was dragged from his car and pinned to the ground on its way to a game on September 8th, and he has since called for the cop, to, the cop in question to be fired for his um, heavy handiness. Now, all Tyreek Hill had to do was comply. But if you watch the video, he was like, give me my ticket. Let me go. Uh, I don't need to listen to what you guys say. He actually said that, folks. He actually said that. He didn't comply. But anyway, now Hill is taking his case to the next level by hiring a slew of new attorneys including one who represented it, represented uh, George Floyd's family back in 2020. Uh, Jeffrey A. Uh, Neiman, Stephen B. Kelly uh, Jr., and uh, Devin M. Jacob, the latter of which, work, the latter of, uh, which uh, working on the Floyd case, have all joined original lawyer Julius B. Collins on the case, as he also demands police reform after the incident. In a statement, Collins said, quote, Tyreek intends to continue... <laughs> the national movement for necessary police reform that George Floyd's death started. Tyreek is demanding that Congress finally pass the George Floyd justice in policing act. In other words, guys, he wants some um, criminals like himself just to be able to do whatever they want. And 
He doesn't want any pushback from police. That's all he wants. Because what happened with George Floyd? He wasn't complying. Just that simple. Just like Tyreek Hill, George Floyd did not comply. Look here. Additionally, he called. He again called for uh, Danny Torres, the officer who put his knee into uh, Hill's bat during the incident, to be fired. Quote, it is already clear that well before this incident, Miami-Dade uh, County should have fired Officer, officer uh, Torres and instead the uh, county repeatedly returned Officer Torres to the street, permitting him to use his police authority to terrorize people. Oh my God. Had officers not uh, realized that they were interacting with uh, Tyreek Hill, a well-known, beloved, educated, and seemingly wealthy black man. Beloved? Okay. Anyway, uh, this traffic stop would have likely have ended with the driver in jail, in a hospital, or like George Floyd did. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. You see, guys, I mean, being a lawyer, man, is something else, man. I can never be a lawyer. I really couldn't. I get you need to represent your client, man, but trying to paint a picture of Tyreek Hill as some some type of a uh, victim when it's pretty clear he was uh, combated with the police. He refused to actually listen. And now a criminal like Tyreek Hill. Yeah, I'm calling him a criminal. man. I mean, stuff that this guy's done is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But he's actually gotten away with it, guys, because he's rich and famous. Yeah. He's rich and famous, so he actually got away with it. I mean, if it was me and you guys, I believe we would have actually been arrested and booked. I truly do believe that, man. If I acted the way that uh, Tyreek Hill did and I told the police, hey, I don't have to listen to you rolling on my windows, you know, the police definitely would have arrested me. But in the case of Tyreek Hill, he was detained for a few minutes. And guess what? They let him go. They let him go. Tyreek Hill, man, just will not stop. man. he really, really wants to be a victim. And you know what? He probably saw how all of these um, people playing the victim. Victimhood sells. It really, really does sell, folks. And the media is definitely backing Tyreek Hill on this thing. He's not getting a whole bunch of pushback um, from the media for the way he acted. But anybody with a brain inside their head, all they had to do was look at the video and they they can actually come to the conclusion that and this guy Tyreek Hill, man, acted like a moron. No one should act like that with the police. No one. Boy, he's really, really pushing for that cop to be fired, folks. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.